afternoon, Pep. Afternoon. Uh, yeah. um, a break from the, the league schedule this, this weekend. How much importance do you place on the FA Cup? Um, <clears throat> the same importance as I, as I put to a, to a league game. It's an official game for the, for the club. It's an opportunity as well for us to, to take a step forward and, and accept that responsibility that we have in ending this bad run. Touching into that, uh, I put a lot of work last night, all of us, and uh, after the game, where we clearly underperformed against uh, Wigan. And I want to put my hand up, first of all, as a responsible, but hands up of everyone, really. And, um, and knowing that we have the opportunity now in the next game, Saturday, to, to put that, um, that straight to get back and correct a little bit more. I think since the game against Reading, where we suffered the, the injury of us uh, second centre back and left us a little bit vulnerable in the back, we kind of um, highlighted this ne games after have highlighted uh, this fact. And, um, and we have put a lot of work, we were putting a lot of work before to to be a side who could score more goals and eventually that work is paying off now. We are a side that we, we improved massively in set plays, we improved massively in open play goals, in counter-attacks and transitions. We're trying to be as well more aggressive in defensive transition and taking into perspective and counting and admitting 100% that we underperform against Wigan on a game that turned out very difficult for our initial mistake. I mean, one goal down. Um, as well, we we had a lot of things that there are good signs of what we're trying to do because we played a fantastic game against West Brom, fantastic game against Leeds, and a, and a very good game against Blackburn away. Uh, so we we favour and count everything because obviously being stable in in bad moments, as I was stable as well when we were doing very well. Probably, I think, our football kicked on very, very well, uh, probably a little bit early, and the expectation kicked on, kicked on too much, kicked on too much. Uh, and in the end of the day, that's a setback that, we, that we're facing and a bad run, and this game on Saturday offers us the possibility to change that victory and change that dynamic. And the fact that it's a new competition kind of help us a little bit because it's a, it has no effect on the league is actually exactly the way that I like football is like a final mentality mm -hmm. because it's one game unless you draw it's one game like a final and those games I love in football and our players love as well um, so I'm really looking forward for that game yeah we saw a very young side go to Fram Park and take on Portsmouth in the Carabao Cup earlier in the season because of the run we're on and because it's the FA Cup can we assume that that approach will be different this time around uh, on the in the summer, it was a, a good moment for us as well to to get a, a proper assessment on on the level of our youth and our academy because we're starting the league, and it was a, it was a good moment. It was more like this kind of work was important for us to see exactly how can we use the the young players in in the league and going forward. Thanks to that game, we had a bad result that day, and. And obviously the fans were really angry about it, and myself as well. But we got a lot of positives, and the main positive is that Jude has consolidated, Jude, Jude Bellinger has consolidated himself mm -hmm. from that game on. Um, right now, at the minute, in the FA Cup, I have a clear um, knowledge on the young players that we have in the club. We, we keep building in, the, in, a in a project for the future that is to nurture the, the team with own talent. Uh, but we need to make sure that they come into the right moments and and on the right right atmosphere for them to to perform and to succeed. We're still analysing and we still I cannot really say what kind of uh, team we're going to have for Saturday. Okay. Blackburn, of course, a side we've already faced twice now this season. You're not going to be expecting any surprises ahead of Saturday. Is it just a case of who performs? better on the day will be in the half for the next round? Yes, absolutely. It's a football game. It's a final. It's a cup game. Whoever performs better, whoever takes the grip of the game and do all the basics right and, and try to exploit the opposition as well, will get an advantage and will, and will win the game. I'm expecting a very competitive game. Blackburn and us have shown we are on a similar level. 
obviously uh, they had a, a better run till until now the the last one that we had but the football there is very even and anything can happen so it's very important to 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 play a good game against them a very focused game uh, be well in defense we have a lot of things to improve there and and keep yielding offensively how do you get that balance right between performances and results? Because everyone will say, because it's a cup game, the only thing that matters come the final whistle is that your name's in the hat for the next round. But you only get there by putting in a good performance. How do you get that balance? It's about uh, playing the game the best possible way to, to favour the result and to deserve that result. In the end of the day, it's a game. Locke plays a big part in a collective game where two teams share the space and, and only one ball. Anything can happen. But the important thing is that the, that we are solid, that we understand our roles, that we grow into our football, that we take the game very serious and our focus is there. And as well, we need to remember that we had a lot of games lately, so we need to be feeling as fresh as possible as well. How much <coughs> belief, I know you have a lot in the group, but how much belief do you have that they can bring this room to an end and get us back to winning ways? Well, I have total belief on it. I have no, I have no doubt in my players. I have no doubt in, the, in their ability to to stand up after tough moments and the ability to, to get together uh, in a difficult situation, to don't blame each other and stand up as a unit because that's what a team is. And I have a total belief that the fans will, will, will be united with us because in the end of the day, uh, in a bad moment is when, when the clubs need to be strong and, and we need to find this unity, dig in, uh, get together and fight our way back all together. You already referenced the Reading game and that was less than a month ago. We turned in a fantastic performance, particularly in the second half. It goes to show how quickly it can change again for the club to get back on the right track. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, it changed uh, a, lot of, a lot of things that happened in that game, obviously put us in the situation that, that we faced for the games after. But the same that it went that way, <clears throat> Wheel of Fortune can put it the other way. The important thing is to, that's why that I said, uh, when we were doing so well, uh, I never, I never been on, on, a, on a high of thinking that um, the expectation should be there. You've always been balanced and controlled. Now that we're not on that good moment, that then I have to be balanced and controlled as well and keep believing. Uh, yeah, I have the same belief in the squad when we are doing well and we're not doing so well. Finally, just an injury update. How close are Mark Robertson and Jay Clark's all in particular? Jay Clark is already training this week and is getting closer, which that would be uh, good news for us. And Mark Roberts, I'm expecting him to train next week as well as Michael Kifton now. Thank you, Pat. Thank you.